Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to open up a blaster box of the Panini Contenders 2020 Draft Picks College Football Cards. Uh, I didn't even know this had been released, to be honest, so if this has been out for a while, I apologize, but I believe this is a fairly new release. I found it at a Walmart yesterday. I'd kind of gone up towards the city, and on my way back, I was stopping at a couple places looking for, uh, to be honest, looking for some Bowman baseball, and my, I'll make another video about that eventually but i did find this at one walmart the only place i saw it so i grabbed one they had a whole display set up but i didn't know a lot about it i didn't have my phone with me i left it in the car so uh, if this is a hot product that's fine i guess i wasn't going to buy everything up anyway uh, so it looks like we have blue foil parallels that we can get that are exclusive to the blasters we have some numbered parallels including the iconic cracked ice and it says, look for first on-card autographs from the draft prospects. So, so this says draft prospects. So there might be some guys in here who didn't get drafted. Um, you can see we have six cards per pack, seven packs per box. That should be a total of 42 cards, if my math is correct. Two autographs per box on average. Uh, this is priced at $19.99, just like any other blaster box. You can see we have 325-card base set including 20 college tickets, 100 season tickets, and 25 RPS college tickets. I'm not sure what RPS stands for, uh, but there it is. We have Joe Burrow there on the cover. So uh, I honestly don't know a lot about this product, but I will look at all those stickers they have on the top. I will go ahead and uh, rip into it, and we'll see what we get. So I was uh, pretty excited. I don't know. Is the word to see this? Um... You know, I, I know that Mosaic and some of the NBA product have, has been almost like impossible to find. And I feel like this NCAA product, especially with Tua and Joe Burrow, has have been on a kind of a hot streak itself. Not to the level of the NBA stuff, but um, hopefully that we'll get something good out of here. So as you can see, we have just the box with the packs just kind of loose in there. No, sometimes they put some other stuff in there to kind of keep the, keep the packs somewhat secure. So we have our, that pack's kind of mangled compared to the others we have our seven packs i have no idea they all feel about the same weight so i don't think i can really tell which one may have a autograph or like a relic autograph or something in there so uh, let me go ahead and get my camera back a little bit here so we can spread these out we'll uh we'll just open these up and we'll see how we do so panini contenders 2020 draft picks i picked up some of the panini prism draft picks a while ago and opened up one of those boxes on my channel but I don't think I've ever seen this I haven't really seen many videos about it so maybe it's a brand new release I could be wrong all right so we've got a season ticket right off the bat Austin Eckler Austin Eckler so he's a current player this is going to be a mix of current players and draft picks I assume Austin Eckler had a great season this year for San Diego we got Marlon Mack for the UCF Bulls we got Daniel Jones, Danny Dimes, which I think is kind of a silly nickname myself for the New York Giants. We got a legacy card. This looks like a Joe Burrow already, guys. This is nice. We got legacy. Um, Joe Burrow for LSU, the number one overall pick. And it has his picture when he was at Ohio State, and then he transferred to LSU. I'm sure a lot of people know that, but maybe some of my viewers that are more baseball fans didn't realize that he started his career at Ohio State, and then he transferred to LSU and got some, obviously, great playing time and set the world on fire as a national champion. So that is probably going to be one of my favorite cards in this whole box. We got Iowa Hawkeyes, Noah Fant, who's with the Denver Broncos right now, had a nice rookie season last year. And then we have Ty Johnson, who I do not know a lot about, Mr. Johnson. So, all right, first pack right out of the gate. I kind of like the look of these cards. I really like this legacy card. We'll put it right here on display. I didn't bring any sleeves or top loaders down here with me today but we'll just have to make do with what we've got all right here we go pack number two so i don't know if you're all's walmarts are stocking up man i went through so many walmarts yesterday on my way home and there's so many of them were just ravaged like nothing there and so whoa that one's backwards that one could be an autograph uh, let's save that one for the end uh but anyway there's darius slayton uh peyton manning is a pretty cool one with tennessee volunteers uh, we've got Dwayne Haskins, who's now with the Washington Redskins. They're Redskins, excuse me. Oh, here we have a draft class card. So it looks like maybe we get one of these cards per pack of like these current players. DeAndre Swift, running back. Can't remember who he got drafted by, 
Um, but he was one of the higher rated running backs. I want to say one of the top three or four running backs in the draft this year. There's Deshaun Watson, great player. I really like Deshaun Watson. I thought he was the number one quarterback coming out of the 2017 draft. Oh, so this one wasn't an autograph. It's Ryan Finley. It just was backwards, I guess. So pack number two, my favorite card in that pack, probably the DeAndre Swift, although it's hard to hate on the Peyton Manning. Uh, anytime you get Peyton Manning, you're doing pretty well. So we'll kind of put Peyton up here, and we'll put uh, DeAndre Swift. So anyway, yeah, see if, uh, I don't know how many Walmarts are restocking. Man, they were so just torn up yesterday. Like, I bet I went into four or five Walmarts, and like every single one was just absolutely nothing there. Like literally nothing. Even the the silly clearance bins of like 2019 Series 1 tops were just completely gone. So I don't know. Maybe this is a good sign that they're slowly starting to get new product out there. But uh, wow, it was just crazy yesterday. All right, there's Terry McLaurin. Uh, he's with the Washington Redskins now, Ohio State teammate. There's Josh Allen in his Wyoming Cowboys uniform. Uh, he had a good year last year for the Buffalo Bills. There's Brett Favre in his Southern Mississippi. Uh, they had to, they must not have the uh, rights to the logo for Southern Mississippi because they had to Photoshop out his, his, oh, oh, no, there it is. Maybe their helmets just look like that. Oh, this could be one of our autographs, guys. We've got Laryl Murchison. It's backwards. Defensive tackle, number 92. It is. It says bowl ticket. It's kind of got a little bit of a refractor look to it or a little shine to it. That's pretty cool. So it is a sticker auto, Laurel Murchison, probably Laurel, um, 96 out of 99. You can see the numbered right there, 96 out of 99. I'm going to have to look some stuff up on him. That name doesn't ring a bell right off the bat. we got the rookie card insignia at the top from the North Carolina State Wolfpack. So there's one of our autographs. On average, there's supposed to be two, so I'll set that one down here for now. I'll get it on display in a second. James Washington just signed with the Chiefs, I believe. And then there's Alexander Madison running back out of Boise State. So we've hit one autograph so far, and we're four packs in. We've got three to go. Or excuse me, we're three packs in, we have four to go. So we're a little bit less than halfway. Okay, here we go, guys. Pack number four. We've got Deontay Johnson. That's the Akron Zips. Or Toledo Rockets, sorry, Toledo Rockets. we got Sony Michelle. Uh, who's with the Patriots. We got Jerry Rice. Look at that old school uh, Mississippi Valley State, the Delta Devils. Wow, that's a cool one. We got a game day ticket, Jeff Oduka. Uh, Arcuda, sorry. He was the uh, number one cornerback prospect. I believe he went in the top 10. There's Lynn Fournette with Jacksonville and Dak Prescott from Mississippi State. That's kind of a cool photo. A lot of Dak Prescott fans out there from his Cowboys days. I guess he still is with the Cowboys for now. Trying to get that new contract with the Cowboys. I assume he'll get it eventually. I don't think they'll they'll end up moving away from him. They had such a hard time trying to find a quarterback after Romo left. And uh, now that they've actually got one who's pretty good, I don't think Dak Prescott's quite as good as everyone, some people say, but I mean, I think he is pretty legit. There's Baker Mayfield, season ticket. Pretty cool. Baker Mayfield, the number one pick. Marquise Hollywood Brown, back-to-back -back Oklahoma Sooners. He's with the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, here we got kind of a, uh, I don't know, this is a parallel card. Um, kind of got that chrome feel to it. You can see how it's shining compared to the others. DeAndre Hopkins, one of my favorite players. Uh, went to Clemson, obviously was with Houston, and then just got traded uh, in kind of a controversial trade to the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, not numbered on the back. But it is one of the orange parallels, maybe. I'm going to have to look on the side of the box again to see what type of parallels I could expect in there. But that one is really cool. We'll put that one up here in a second. Oh, here we go. We got a Tua and a Jerry Judy. Collegiate Connections, Tua Tagovailoa and Jerry Judy, teammates. Uh, Judy went to the Broncos and Tua went to the Dolphins, both in the first round. So that is a nice one as well. This pack's pretty sweet. Oh, and it's still bringing the fire. Season ticket, Christian McCaffrey who absolutely was amazing last year, set all sorts of records, and then Miles Sanders to finish it off. So that pack was really nice. I don't know if I can get these up here if they're going to slide. Okay, they're going to stay. All right, so we've got two packs to go. We should, at least uh, the box says, two autographs on average, and so far we've only got the one. Um, so we'll see what we have left. Hopefully we've got one autograph left. So here we go. 
Next to last pack. If I can get it open here. I'm about to make a mistake and damage the cards. Here we are. Emmett Smith, University of Florida. One of the all-time greats. The leading rusher in NFL history in rushing yards. Todd Gurley, the second. Um, had those knee troubles. Um, got banged up, uh, I believe. I don't think he's with uh, the Rams anymore. It's slipping my mind who he signed with, so maybe you guys who know can leave it in the comments. There's Josh Jacobs out of Alabama. Had a great rookie year last year for the Oakland Raiders. Oh, this could be our other autograph. It's backwards. It's a quarterback from Washington State, Anthony Gordon. I don't know a lot about Anthony Gordon, but I'm assuming this is our other autograph. And it is. There you go. Uh, this one looks like the regular... Um, no, okay. I'm trying to compare the two autographs to see if the other one kind of had more of a chrome feel. Actually, I think, you know what? That other one was better. This one is not numbered. Um, it is a quarterback, though, Anthony Gordon. I'm going to look, look up some information on him. I don't know a lot about Anthony Gordon. Let me see if I can move two out of the way. But if you see here, but comparing the two autographs, this one's got kind of the refractor. You can see how this kind of got that rainbow as the light hits it. And I assume that's why it's numbered out of 99. And this one's just kind of the base autograph, I guess. Uh, Anthony Gordon. So there's our two autographs. Pretty nice. Wish I should have brought my sleeves down here. Penny sleeves, but whatever. We'll just uh, drop those down here so I don't mess them up. Uh, we've got DJ Chark. And upside down, Keyshawn Johnson from Fresno State to wrap it up. Okay, so we've already hit... Our two autographs, this last pack is probably going to be somewhat anticlimactic as two of those sliding down in front of Joe Burrow. <laughs> That's okay. All right, last pack, guys. I'll wrap this up. So like I said, feel free to check this out. I don't know if it's in your area of Walmarts. I only saw this display in the one Walmart, and I bet I was in five or six of them yesterday. Now, that might be an exaggeration, three or four. Um, see if it's out there um, because it might be a pretty cool product for you NCAA fans and especially NFL fans. There's Matthew Stafford, number one pick out of Georgia. Obviously now playing with the Lions and has been there for a while. Stephon Diggs. These Maryland uniforms, man. Under Armour is based in, in Maryland, and they make the coolest uniforms. And especially that Maryland flag. The, the shoulder pads there are kind of covered. Those are the kind of the design of the Maryland flag. They do some really cool stuff. There's Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo. Did not have a winning Super Bowl, but that was good for me being a kind of in the Chiefs area. There's Isaiah Simmons, who was uh, went to uh, high school in, in Kansas. Not too far from Kansas City, and then just went to Clemson, and it was just an absolute animal. He can play about any position you want on defense. I uh, can't remember who signed him. I want to say maybe Arizona. I think that's right. I think he signed with the Cardinals or drafted him in the top 10, and he looks to be an uh, excellent player in, at the next level. There's Dalvin Cook. Very good season last year for Minnesota. And we're going to wrap it up with OBJ, Odo Buckham Jr. So we had a cool mix there of current NFL players, and it looked like every pack – had at least one of these cards of a draft prospect. So a uh, quick little recap for you guys, if you're just tuning in to the end of the video. Um, probably the, the best cards for $20. I think I did all right. We got this Joe Burrow Legacy card, Ohio State and LSU, number number 16. We hit two autographs, Laurel Murchison. This one is a, some type of a refractor or parallel auto numbered out of 99, number 96 out of 99, out of NC State. We hit Anthony Gordon, quarterback out of Washington State, Mike Leach, before he left and went to Mississippi State. I'm going to have to look up some information on those guys because off the top of my head, I don't remember them being drafted too high. We have DeAndre Hopkins. This is kind of an orange parallel, I guess. I don't know the name of the, the parallels. I apologize. And then just kind of our rookie cards, we hit the draft class 2020, DeAndre Swift. We hit the coll collegiate connections, Tua and Jerry Judy. We've got the game day ticket, Isaiah Simmons, who's now with Arizona, and Jeff Okuda, who I believe went to the Lions. Um, I want to say maybe in the top five, want him to play man-to-man -man and just lock people down as the Lions like to play a lot of man-to-man -man coverage on defense. So there it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Feel free to leave a comment with your favorite card. Um, and you can hit the like button and subscribe if you want. And if not, that is okay, too. So I will catch you all in the next video, and have a good one.